Okay. Am I good? Okay. Go to the tip. Open up. Oh, open up. Yep, and then pinch down there. Okay. And now pull. Pull. Good. All right, stop. Okay. Nice. Okay, there cool. we go. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. Now you got to go put that in the oven. Yep. So this is Chris. He is the assistant glass blower, and he is also the person who, if you were to come here to Epiphany today between 10 and 4, he would be the man who would walk you through this experience. So he's heating that up. And over here, these are the icicles. This is what I'm hoping my end product looks like, actually. I have it sat here for inspiration, but Chris is going to be walking me through as he's heating that up exactly how to create this out of the piece of glass that we've just begun. A really neat experience that you can have. You can buy one of the pieces here at Epiphany Glass or you can make your own. How's it going, Chris? Good. All right. Go ahead and grab your uh, diamond shoe. Okay, my, my diamond shoe to create the twist. I am ready to rock. All right. Now just go to the tip. Okay. And no, like keep your parallel here and ready and pitch. All right, now hold it and squeeze as tight as you can. Squeeze harder, squeeze harder. Keep squeezing more, and here we I'm go. afraid of cutting it. <laughs> no worries. That's okay, because that's the part that we don't need, so. And good. All right, go ahead and open and come off. There we go. And now, did I do it? Yep, you did. So now I gotta heat it up, and then we're going to create that divide, and then we're going to pull it out there from there to create the lake. Okay. Really neat. How long have you been doing this, Chris? I've been doing it for two years. So what is it like to do this with people who come into the studio? It's actually, it's a lot of fun because it reminds me of like the first time I picked up glass, like trying to understand the material and how to like properly explain it to someone. Uh, go and have a seat, get you ready. So we'll have you Open up, now slide all the way to where my finger's at. Now squeeze down tight, open, and squeeze again. Open, and one more squeeze. Good, and now I want you to go to the tip, and oh, nope, right here with the diamond part. Oh. Yeah. And pinch, and pull. And good, all right, stop right there. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in, get more heat, and now we're gonna create the length for your icicle there. Okay, cool. So, yep. All right, thank you. We're going to send Chris there to the oven as he heats it up. You're going to have to stay tuned to see if my end result of my icicle looks as beautiful as that. With the help of Chris, it looks like there is some hope that it's going to turn out pretty cool. Uh, Epiphany Glass Studio is here in Pontiac. It is open today where you can come and see where all the magic is made between 10 and 4. You can even make some magic yourself making an icicle. Uh, coming up, we'll take a little bit uh, further in-depth look at some of the art available. They do have a store in Detroit as well that's open Wednesday through Christmas Eve. So you can purchase handmade sets of glasses, a, a piece of art that you can put on display, even some fun things for the dog or cat in your life or the dog or cat lover. So we'll be looking at that coming up in just a little bit. And uh, a new and a, a new and uh, Denise rather, it's not looking so bad. This is the beginning and there's more to come. So I think I'm on the way. Yep, almost there you with it. You are, that's yeah, beautiful, there. Jennifer. And it's nice because you have some professionals there kind of guiding you along too. I know, because otherwise it would be a mess. <laughs> Might be all, all over, oh, all over the mess. place. But <laughs>